the part 2 of nutrition in plants. So you have the nutrition in plants. We learned about the parasite and the host and now we are at insectivorous plant. So imagine that this is this as a picture plant. So this is the picture plant and this is the lid of the picture plant which opens and closes all the time. Let's say I have an insect which roams here and there on the on the up of the picture plant and the, the in, insect settles on the lid of the picture plant and slowly falls down into the into the plant of the picture and immediately the lid closes as as the insect goes in immediately the lid closes and inside the picture plant you have a vice like structure or as you know threads like structure so these structures which are there they, they help to capture the insects and you have some juices the digest juices which secretes and by the juices which secretes they the picture plant uh, absorbs the picture plant which is there this plant absorbs the insect and you have the when the lid opens you have the insect not insect which is not there in this box so this process is called as a uh, so yes this type of plants are called as insectivorous plants okay so you have the insectivorous plant Plant. So the best example is the picture plant as I did. So picture plant, the, the insect which is there, it goes in, immediately the lid closes. And you have the juices where the juice has secretes in, the, in case of the picture plant. And when the lid opens, there is no, there is no insect which is presented inside the picture plant. And now, let's learn about the saprotrophs. So saprotrophs. So let's say I have a bread. So I kept this, I kept a bread for two to three days outside. I stored this bread for two to three days outside. And what happens here is the bread which is there. So this bread bulges and you have some thread like structures which forms on this bread. So these thread like structures are called as fungus. So I kept this bread outside for two to three days. So I kept this bread for two to three days outside and what happens here is the bread which is there it bulges and it has some fungus like structures which forms on the surface of the bread and I think you people mostly heard the name of fungus right what is fungus so fungus is one type of uh, bacteria but yes you have the fungus which forms on the surface of the bread and such a so this fungus here this is the food so the bread is the food of the fungus because such some some organisms which are there they take nutrition or as they take food from the dead and decaying plants so sorry decaying the mid matter so they they take food from the dead dead matter so some organisms which are there they take minerals and nutrients from the dead and the decaying matter so such type of organisms are called as saprotrophs and such type of nutrition is called as saprotrophic nutrition okay the nutrition where they where they take food from the dead and decaying matter so such type of nutrition is called as saprotrophic nutrition and such type of organisms are called as saprotrophs you have the fungus which is the saprotroph um yes the, this is the, this fungus take the saprotrophic nutrition and as well as this is the saprotroph okay so this is about the saprotroph saprotrophs are nothing but they take food from the dead and decaying matter uh, where they take nutrients and the minerals from the decaying matter and the next one is you have the symbiosis so symbiosis is the relationship between two plants. Let's say I have, 
Yes, in basis, there is nothing but relationship between you and me. Let's say I have. Uh, let's say right now. Yeah. Symbiosis. We have the fungus. And plant. So, here, symbiosis is nothing but some plants live together. They, let's say what they do. So, some plants live together. Live together and some plants, they, they share shelter. Share shelter together. And they share food. Share food. Yeah. They, some organisms such as let's say I have the fungus and the plant. So these or such organisms they share, they live together, they share shelter together and they share food. Even the food together. So such type of relationship is called as symbiosis relationship. I have a fungus. So fungus which is there, this fungus lives inside. I have a plant here. Yeah, let, me say, um, I will, let me make a tree. So, so these are the roots of this tree. Yeah. Inside the roots you have the fungus. So this this plant gives the shelter. So this plant gives shelter to this fungus. Let's say here the fungus is, and this plant which is there it gives shelter to the fungus. And this plant, the plant which is there, so this plant gives some nutrients, some nutrients and the, some certain nutrients and some certain minerals to this fungus. Okay. What happens here? The plant gives nutrients, these components of food to this fungus and in return this fungus gives some water and, and certain minerals, minerals to this plant. So, they share, they share both, they share shelter and they live together and they even share food together. So such type of relationship is nothing but the symbiosis relationship. You have the symbiosis relationship, let's say the, the plants which are there, they live together, they share shelter together, they share food together. I have tree and the fungus, so fungus lives inside the roots of the, roots of the plant and here the the cell the plant which is there so this plant shares nutrients to the fungus and in return the fungus also shares some minerals and the water to the plant so such type of relationship is called as the symbiosis symbiosis relationship okay and now the plants they need nitrogen nitrogen gas Right, the plants, mostly the plants need nitrogen gas. So how can they get? You have the bacteria which stays under the roots where this bacteria tries to absorb the absorb the nitrogen gas. Or else you, you can all the plants can also take the nitrogen gas in other in another way. Let's say I have pesticides and the fertilizers. So the farmers they take or else they you know they spray all the fertilizers and the pesticides in the farms so inside the pesticides and the fertilizers they consist or else they contain the nitrogen gases nitrogen gases and some other you know nutrients and minerals which are useful for the plant so by that process they may spray with the fertilizers and the pesticides to gain or else to get some energy to the plant so such type of or such type so like this the the plants may get or else the plants may gain the nitrogenous gases 
by the process of fertilizers and the pesticides. So yes, this is the lesson, today's lesson, which is nutrition in plants. I hope you people understood. Yes, right, we learned about autotrophs, heterotrophs, photosynthesis, where the leaves prepare food by itself, which is photosynthesis. And we also learned the insectivorous plant, the best example is the picture plant, where you have the picture and when the insect goes in the lid closes and when, when the lid opens the insect which is there it get digest and the next one yeah and the next one we learned about the parasite and the host so let's say you have the cascuta or as the amar amar bell so this this amar bell which is there it depends upon the other plant to get take ready made food so such type of plants such as cascuta plant so this plant is called as parasite and the other plant the plant which is big plant so this plant is called as the host which gives food to the parasite in the next one we learned about is the saprotroph just i did we kept i kept a, a um, i kept the bread for two to three days and after two to three days when i saw the bread bulges and you have the some thread like structures which forms so these thread like structures are called as fungus right so here the fungus which are there yeah so these fungus um, they take some nutrients or as they take some they take in food with the help of the with the uh, yes they take in food from the dead and decaying matter so such type of nutrition such type of nutrition mode is called as saprotrophic nutrition mode and such type of organisms are called as saprotrophs and we learned about symbiosis symbiosis is nothing but the relationship between two uh, relationship between other two plants or the yeah, two organisms let's say they share shelter together they share food together they live together and the best relationship is just as i said you have fungus and the plants so the fungus gives the fungus lives inside the roots of the plants the fungus gives minerals nutrients to the plants and in return the plant also gives some certain minerals and the water to the fungus so yeah you also have the nitrogenous gas so the nitrogenous gas the plants cannot absorb but yeah they take nitrogenous gas in the form of pesticides and the fertilizers where the farmers use it to spray spray on the farm like this okay so yeah i think i hope you guys understood today's lesson today's lesson nutrition class is guys as soon as i will back again with a new lesson till then bye bye take care